wait. Are we rolling? Okay, yeah, lights flashing. Hey guys, Skip here. Skip built RC with the crash test boys. Mike. Mike. My and, brother Marty. And Marty. What we got in this box, gonna see if you can guess what's in this box. And I don't even know guys, so this is a this is a surprise. So we'll be labeling this video after uh, after we make it. All I know is Mike was kind of excited about it when he called me yesterday and said, I got a plane to put together. Can you help me out? So I got a wood prop. A wooden prop. Okay, now that's a good good hint. What size prop? So let's see, my first hint would be a wooden prop. It's probably not gonna be electric, right? 1.3 mil. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. What's that? There's a, a new battery. A battery? It is electric and you bought a wooden prop. Yep, 1.3 millimeter prop. The heck airplane is this? And then here go you can on? read the battery that I bought. 14 by 8, 3200, 4S40C light bulb. Okay, so it's a four cell. With LED. Four cell, e whatever it is. And here comes the unboxing. What's in the box? Yeah, don't break my. Uh, just don't grab my radio. What is in the box? There's a ceiling fan up above, so. Alright, here, uh, you take the other end, and I'll take this end. Oh, what do we got? Extra 300 3D. The extra 300. I've been looking. I looked at that one. That's a. That's gonna be a tough bird to fly. I bet. You think so? Nope. No. No. It's got is an it? AS3X. And the safe I'm select. Safe. Yep. It's got all that stuff, huh? Hey, I wonder if this is gonna be as hard as to get my airplane out of the box. What? Did you get something too? Remember oh, when we uh, took oh, the Timber X out of the box? Oh my gosh, that Timber X was a nightmare. In fact, other people were getting back and they were saying what a what a time it was to get that one out of there. Oh, take it back. Comes oh, out too easy. Comes, comes out too easy. I got this uh, direct from Horizon Hobby, so I ordered it Friday and they brought it Saturday for free. So, there you go. Eat life. Extra 300 3D, 1.3 millimeter. Sweet, we'll just tuck that over there. Oh, let's change, wow, uh, change lenses here. Rolling. I think okay. you got to cut this side, brother. I like that's, that. cool. that's the bottom. That's, uh, that's pretty sharp, man. Yeah, it's cool. I think it comes off backwards. Yeah, the back slides off, it looks like. There you go. Nice. Well, oh yeah, they slide right into the fuselage. I watched one of the builds on this. Pretty nice finish. Yeah. Foam hinges? Uh, Looks that way. Metal, unless, metal gears. Unless they've got the uh, nylon. Sometimes they tuck the nylon in there too. I know that they said that uh, the, the rudder or something had to be... This is foam, but the, they said the rudder, one of them has to be glued. It's a nice finish. Looks like they got everything pretty well tight there. Nice. This is the one that has to be glued. Look at the hinges. Yeah, nylon there. hinges. Wow. Sweet. Nice spot, nice place too for the glue to sink in and grab so you get the undercuts in there. They'll never fall out. I don't know what that is. That's, uh, they have a spar that's running up through oh, there. Okay. That's a, that's a lot bigger than I was expecting. By, when, by looking at the pictures, you know, on the Horizon Hobby uh, site, it does not look that big. But that's a, that's a fair-sized plane, buddy. I like the little... Looks like it's built pretty solid. It's got two hatches. I don't know how they open them. Hey, there's, there's a hand in here. And that's my hand. <laughs> <laughs> look at the battery compartment. It's pretty nice. You can take that tape off. Some dumb Chinaman left his hand in there. <laughs> Bad, joke. Bad joke. <laughs> Chinaman ain't going to have hands like this. No. Yeah. About, about that big, really, maybe. Yeah. We're not ripping on China, though. No, of course not. We love... Uh, we, we love their... Women. 
<laughs> I didn't say that, guys. Here, let me see that. This is for Fireblade, by the way. It likes to see the motor. And uh, the inside. You guys want to see the inside? It's got magnetic... Looks, look pretty, uh, pretty well put together, huh? Catch. Oh, Ooh. man. Slap down. And look at the bottom. First thing you're going to want to do is put a piece of... Uh, uh, Gorilla tape on the other side of that, so you have a little something to pull up and then that. Got... Yeah, oh, like maybe that. that's what that was for. And we Why just did you... tore it off? Oh, you just <laughs> tore it off? Yeah, no, that was supposed to be there. Otherwise, try to get that out There's without receiver? leaving a, a dent in your. And then that's how you put the wings on one, two, three, four. That's it. Yep, should be a snap. Oh, so that's. I'm yeah. A, I'm going to do the filming and let you guys have at it. How's that sound? If you need my interjection, I'll be here. Um, I want you to build this, though. No, 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 no. You have to start building your own planes, too. What do you think, guys? Tell Mikey to start building his own airplanes. He, 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 he does. He does. He does. I'm just wow. teasing, teasing hey. with him. Man, that thing's got a... What did they use for magnets in those things? Holy... Hey, you're not going to lose those in front. 13, 13, 13, 13 out, guys. 6 prop. 13 by 6. 13 6 wooden prop. Look at the motor inside this thing. Lightweight, so that's for electric, huh? Yeah. It's got a dude inside, too. Hand painted, dude. I wonder. Oh, look at the cock. Oh, yeah, watch the ceiling fan. I've come close a look couple that. of times it's, with that. It, uh, it's illustrated, or whatever you call it. Yeah, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. There's thinner. And uh, nose cone. How about this? Nose cone? Ha! Yeah. Oh, Thanks. wait. Look at this. <laughs> it's pretty thick, too. You have uh, Oh, yeah, spinner. I know it's going okay. So it's going to be a hex drive where the prop goes down on the motor. Okay, that's cool. And then these go right up, right up there with the nose cone right about there. Look at that. Look at how big these are. Holy crazy. Oh, this is going to be a sweet ride, guys. Well, I'll give you the toolbox and get you guys set up to start going. That's the end of the unboxing, guys. Take a bow. Ta -da. <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the short for the build. Thanks for watching. Landing gear is pretty stout. Crash test boys. Their first build on video. Take one. Bad day for me to stop sniffing really <laughs> <laughs> All right, landing gear, man, looks pretty stout. Uh, I don't know. We stick it in the holder and go there. Just put your little stingy on there with foam pack glue so they don't vibrate out. We got some little exhaust stacky deals going on. You guys just pretend like I'm not here. I'll be getting this. Nah, I got Nobody's those. here because I'm still sniffing glue while I'm building. <laughs> By the end of the day, I should be able to You fly. and my brother, the first thing they do when they get on the video is either flip you off or do an F-bomb. I'll fly. Who's doing F-bombs? My brother. <laughs> Got on video the what other the day. What the F is an F-bomb? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what an F-bomb is. I don't do F-bombs. I do cherry bombs. <coughs> Let's just say the uh, advertisers don't put money on your video if uh, you're f-bombing if you're f-bombing everything because people don't want to hear that shit oh, so we won't freaking do that so s-bombs count too oh yeah I don't yeah. do no f-bombs Marty likes Jaeger okay bombs. so there's four I imagine same size screws yep was there a bunch of screws total or just uh, yeah there's a bunch of screws over here. Okay, so there's only, they said there's only like a, right a few here. screws. There's a, yeah, these, that's not much right there. There's two and, screws that hold the wing. Each, and a Y harness. Wings, the Y harness, I believe, goes for the uh, ailerons. Yeah, I mean, well. And well, we said, always yeah. got a screw loose, no matter what we do. Bye. Everybody's got a screw loose. One bad pilot. That's right. Yeah. All right, let's see. We got to put the elevator nice to in. see now. these guys again, isn't it, guys? Okay, so we need to turn this over. So you ready for a second step? Elevator. So the first step was putting on the uh, the landing gear, huh? Yeah. Is that um, by the book or just by how you? That's you're, by the book. By I'm going name. by the destruction manual. Look at the magnets on this thing. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you glad I fixed that for you now? 
Eh, no, we shouldn't have torn it off. Look at what a nice professional job I did there for you, huh? That's awesome. We're gonna throw the net. Wow. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> this thing's good. Be flying along and be able to do a complete loop and keep going straight. Oh, uh, it's a 3D. That's what I mean. And I bought one uh, 4S battery, even though I could run it on the 3S. Um, I guess we'll see. Yeah. Now Marty is assembling the tail section. It appears. Yep. I'm very astute. I don't know what I'm doing. My no, first they're, they're actually called the horizontal stabilizer if you go to the airport. Horizontal stabilizer. That's okay. correct. Horizontal stabs, guys. No, you yeah. got them the right way? With no. the elevator no. assembly. Should I have them the right <laughs> way? <laughs> I got them upside down. There you go. I like that. Do you part. really have them upside down? Is there an upside down? To I think there is. You have them upside down. Oh, geez. Should no, I take it back apart? Are you sure? Should I take it back apart? Why is the bottom yellow? Oh, because the bottom of the plane is y'all. Oh, look at the, uh, the rest of the back of the plane is white. So but that's a good question. Could they be put on backwards? I don't think no. so. No. You know why? The elevator control is on the bottom. Okay. What, that make, yeah, you got the horn on the bottom. Okay. I didn't sniff enough glue yet. so. Well, good thing. What, what about this side? There's no horn control on this side. It's only one, Skip. Um, they and what is this it. control? Oh, that could be for rudder? Rudder. Probably, okay. And see, the rudder is white. Black. Great. Look at the hinges on that, man. They're huge. You know, you could be colorblind and actually still see that. I, I like this right, right, part because right. we'll be able to know what side's up and what side's down. Um, I've seen some videos. They were like, uh, here you're landing in. Marty, you look perplexed down here. What are you building? Uh, supposed to be building an airplane. I think so. As he grabs the linkage. Now, I know you're not going by the book now. Yeah, yeah. It tells you to put linkages on before the the wings? Well, how many screws go there? It says insert the Z-bin into the push rod outside hole of the elevator arm and press into the push rod into the stab. Right, because you might have to take this off to get it all on there and then put it together. I'm going by the book. Here, here I can hold it. I, I, I'm just a photographer here. I'm, I, I'm the videographer. You are doing the work, you guys. My pilot looks like he's Russian or European. <laughs> Russian hands and Roman fingers. I'm gonna take them out and put a, a minion in there. A minion? <laughs> I really am. Does it tell you that uh, put it in the second hole or? I can't push that. I'm trying to get. Yeah, what are you having a problem with this? Uh, this thing right here? Yeah, pushing it on there. Here, hold the camera. It's a two thumb job. Unless you unless you use pliers. Well, I got real bad arthritis in my left hand. Yeah, me too. Okay, so we're going to use a pair of little tiny needle nose and uh, flip this one down here. Couldn't they put like a camera inside the cockpit instead of a dude inside the cockpit? Wouldn't that be kind of cool to have a magnetic hatch for the, the glass and then just put a camera in there? Yeah, that would be pretty neat. Make the glass a lot, you know, the crystal, uh, uh, the can be a lot easier to come off yeah if you wanted is it, it broken to or no no here i'll push it on if you hold and it. if you get it on on the hold right on. they're very tight a lot of times down, the, down, down. some people recommend unscrewing the screw and then putting the ball back on so you don't wear it at all but uh i go from a, a an angle and pop it on so i think maybe you could pop it on with it out with it not being on there take that rod out of there or something there you go yeah but i think still don't you want to bind up the plane and make sure that the servos yeah, are centered uh, before you do this you know or are you going to be taking <coughs> that off again hold tight guys we'll be right back got a lot of editing now okay guys that's that ought to do it i got the uh transmitter bound for you plug it in and it should should fire right up now here's, here's your radio mike Sounded good. Let's see if it does its dance thing. Okay. Oh, it does another. Okay, now you know it's ready. And you got a motor going? Let's take a look at that bad boy.
Yeah. So you're one more time with the motor, bud. That's smooth, man. That's gonna be really smooth. Nice. So how do we know? Uh... Okay, now we can unplug the battery, guys, and just uh, make sure your, your transmitter settings, all your trims are in the middle, okay? Make sure everything is on center position. You know what I'm talking about? Here. Yeah, here. Yeah, you're good to go. All right. Okay, now we're just going to unplug. I got you. Okay, and you can turn off your radio. All right. All right, and the rest is just the build. Now you've centered all your servos, except for the ones in the wings because they're not attached yet. We'll do that after we get this part done here. Okay, Marty's going to attach the uh, Did you get that plugged the rudder down? assembly. And stuff. Uh, is this the tube? Yes. Uh, I think the battery has to pretty big, too. Yeah, my night flight off the channel last night was awesome. You should have seen his landing. You had the floats on it? Yeah. I And lights on it? Oh, yeah. Sweet. I was making complete turns between the trees. In the well, zone he was being a daring pilot, wasn't he? Well, he <laughs> yeah, it was no, he was cool. showing off. That's, oh, that's, that's, really, that's okay. That's usually how bad things happen. Oh no, he, he pulled it off. And then I, I imagine you got to do something with that rudder with the, uh, or the, the wheel with the rudder then, right? Yeah, but I think we're going to have to put some, either some CA or some foam tack on these uh, hinges. That's what they said. Yeah. We'll hook you up. Yeah. We, we got that stuff. I think it's going to be a nice plane. <laughs> Will you stop? It, it, it doesn't get He's you. He's only kidding. Or it no, doesn't not. work anyway. <laughs> not that kind. If it does, I wouldn't know. So what I like about this plane, it'll fly on these batteries, or it'll fly on the 4S batteries. Yeah, that's perfect. And I, I got a lot of these. Yeah, I got 4S. Uh, the Admirals work real nice. Uh, HRV, I was telling you about. Yeah. Uh, half price, pretty much, almost half like the price I think of I what they like charge. I paid like 80 bucks for that battery. Yeah, and you could have gotten that battery for 25, 20, 25 bucks at, at Motion for an Admiral, and same price for an HRV. Yeah, whatever. I just wanted one. Because we can stick the 4S in Marty's new plane and we can fly it in this plane. And I found some Admirals, uh, four of them for 179 bucks on Amazon. I don't know if that's a lot or... You found some what? Ad Admiral. Oh, Admiral. Admiral. Batteries? Four of them for 179 bucks. Uh, what are they? 4S. 2200 4S? Oh, they were the big ones. Um... I don't know what they were. 32, 3300, yeah, something, something like, like that. that. I don't know if that's good, bad. That's not too bad, really. Figure about 50 bucks for a decent battery. Yeah, you know, so uh, uh, of, of size, of good. size. Yeah. You know, if it's a 2200, you know, $19 on so, up to about $30 is the most I'd pay. I just like to buy the batteries with the right connectors on them. I don't have to screw it around with You didn't have a problem getting that with that before, huh? I got it. Okay. I don't even know what size battery I bought over there. Just trying to start the screws and up. It looked like a three cell. That's a four cell. It's a four cell? It is. But I don't know how many uh it's probably thirty C. It is. Thirty or forty C tops. Thirty C I'm guessing. That was forty? That's even better. Oh it's a it's an it's a it's a thrust. It's not an E flight battery. I told you it was a thrust. Okay. But it says E-Flight on it. Yeah, it says E-Flight, but it's... Uh, I don't know what it is, how many amps or whatever. I think it's like... 128 mac maximum continuous discharge. That's pretty darn good, actually. 40C. And what is it, 33 or 32? It's a 32. 3200? Yeah. That's he told me that's perfect. It for feels like a nice battery, too. Yeah. Should be perfect for this. I think I paid 80 bucks for it. Probably the one that they used to fly it in. Fly it um, with. That's what they recommended the from uh, uh, Horizon. These wheels are kind of weird. They're kind of... Yeah, but you know, this is going to make it nice for grass. Yeah, they said it's got more than enough power to take off. I researched the crap out of it, you know what I'm saying? Are they you having a problem getting... Because uh, I heard uh, do one side or the other, and then the other, because sometimes uh, one of the last screws can be a real pain to get it in just right. You almost have to wiggle it. You need another hand? Yeah, probably. In or out? I'm not sure. 
Want me to try? Now you get the camera. Sorry about the bouncing here, guys. Feel like it's going. I'm trying to get it to like pop in, set in. It doesn't want to. So we give it a little line. Looks like your camera went off. Nope, it's still going. The back lens just goes off. Oh, okay. If you touch the back lens, then it'll come back on. Looks like you got it. Yeah. I had to line it with the end of the screwdriver. That's a little trick sometimes. With the AS3 axis, thing should fly pretty easy. I just want to learn how to fly it gently and then... I didn't want to buy another plane like everybody else. You guys all have the timbers and this. And I still got my timber though, but I wanted to buy something crazy different. Wait till you see the helicopter I buy. Just enough. There we go. Should be good. I'll take this back. Give you that back. And I'm gonna be buy the, and uh, rolling. I'm gonna buy the Blade 230 V2. Did you look at the holes and, and stuff where this one goes? Turn it back over now we're doing the elevator. <laughs> that was the elevator. Oh, the rudder. But now you gotta glue this one. Oh, here. rudder? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's where the wheel thing goes in, I think so. Yeah, the wheel yeah, lock. Yeah, we're doing that one. So now you need okay. to make something. I'm going to let Skip do that. You want me to do this? Okay. I'll hold the camera. <laughs> Better. And so you can film. Can you see, what, can you see it through the yep. fire? Okay. And then they've got probably some slits down here ready made for you. I don't want to do the tail. You gotta put glue on first. Yeah, I want to see. Dry run it first. Do you uh, yeah. do you want to pop or something, Marty? I'm gonna go to the gas station. Yeah, pop. You want to order good. something, Skip, or another Ordulios? Uh, I think I've got an Ordulios behind you. Give me a diet, Dr. Pepper. Really? Yeah. Are you on a diet? Yeah. So you need some more Ordulios, or you're good? I wanted to see, make sure that the slits were in here already. Oh, yeah. I was gonna have to cut them. Like I got a little bit of help. Where's that trim knife I gave you? Oh, that's right here. Um, I'm going to guess that you want something. No, I'm good. You sure you don't need no more Odulios? I think I've got a few left in the fridge. I'm looking there. I don't, don't drink a whole lot of them. I don't. No, I'm not saying you do. But I'm grateful that we're building this plane. Yeah, you're good. It's it's my pleasure, buddy. You got a? Uh, you want a diet? Dr. Just a Pepper? diet, Doctor Pepper. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, we had to just kind of open up. The holes are there, but they're really tight. It ain't tight, it ain't right. Well, if it ain't tight, it ain't right, that's true. <laughs> now, I just still want to make sure I got the... Thing. You got enough smokes and stuff, right buddy? Place. Uh, yeah, I just bought a pack this morning, uh, so I should be good on those, too. Thank you, man. I want to get into my new... I want to get into my new house if it all works out. With the garage, then I can get my cub going. Uh, Might have to go check out that house right across the street. Okay, I think I've got what I need to do with, with now. Put a little dab here. Dab will do you. And a little dab here so it goes in.
Test off good glue. Uh huh. Yeah, this is awesome. Once it's once it's in there, it's it's in there. And it allows you to reposition it too, up to about a half an hour later, just in case you find it. Oops, which is what I like, because oopses can happen to anybody, right? More than you think. I can't wait to fly this thing. Phone <laughs> well, tap on its way. It's on each side here. You know what I'm more excited about doing? What? Running that sprint car. I could care less about flying right now. That comes uh, August, July, right? August 4th. I might have to buy one next year. You only live once. That's a fact. Um, I think I was supposed to get the wheel. In there first? Yeah, see that's why it's nice to be able to reposition. If I had used CA, yeah. I'd have been kind of screwed here, wouldn't I? There we go. So you've got to go down some more to line up with the trim piece. Yeah, I'm just getting the excess out real quick. Yeah. Good right there. Yeah. I'll clean up the hinges just a tad. It looks pretty good. It should do the job. is attached and straight fairly straight you may want to align that wheel a little bit once you because it's not exactly straight with the back of the rudder but that'll just be a take a little needle nose and give it a little tweak yeah uh so what's next here we want to wait for mike we want to wait for mike okay hold uh, tight here guys he'll be right back okay so a, you just hook this up in. we got that down did the okay. wheel uh go inside yeah, there it looks fairly straight well it looks somewhat straight not not really Oh, we can, uh, you, you'll have some adjustment to do. You might yeah. either trim it out or you might have to pop these off and do again. See, like I was saying, there's or a... We might, we might have to there's pop this a, If you look off. down here, there's a, uh, a Phillips. Yeah, that's what I just any, took off. So if it was really hard to do these, you don't want to do them too many times or you they get loose or I'll pop off in flight. So <laughs> get away with it once or twice, so that's about it. But otherwise, take them out with the, the screw heads. What's next, guys? Looks like wings. Wings? Now we need okay. to uh, plug the... Flip uh, it over and get the wings going. Study, study, study. Yeah. Being studious. Okay, to, next approach. Does it say where to plug it in? Which, Number two. Okay. That's usually the... Y harness, and it'll usually be ailerons. So number number one would be thrust, then ailerons, I believe, and then... What's this way back from there? And we got to figure somewhere. How do we know which is left and right, though, or does it matter? Well, 
You might have to plug that in. Anyway. Left and right. Well, so far you go with, the, with what they've already had plugged in, and obviously the yellows are all, or the oranges up at the top. So just make sure that they're all oriented the same way. That's what I did. Now you got the Y harnesses this is all this set side. for that, and then you just this is polarity. That we'll slide them in. Hold tight, guys. All right. Slide in nice. Slide her in. Looks like they slide in nice and tight, huh? Yep. You got your wire plug. That got that said. one hooked. Okay, now you're going to have to uh, hold something. Well, I put the plug. other wing in. Oh, I thought you wanted to plug the battery in. How about this auto boom cam? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. All right, so where does this wire go? Plus, the cameraman gets us back here. Have his cigarette. Spit on it, it'll go in. Oh, I'm just <laughs> telling you to put a little. No, it's going in. That's what I do. I'll put a little. Uh... Don't say it. No. Hair around it? No. <laughs> I'll put a little... <laughs> Sorry. I'll put a little uh, water on it to make it. Find oh, just a, a little spit. Just a yeah. little spit, make it moving. You got a monkey out back? Spits a little slicker than water. Dries just I mean, as well. it sounds disgusting, but hey. It's just saliva, for sake. How many girls you kiss? Too many. I kiss all the you kissed your a lot dogs. Of things. You kissed heck? a lot of things that were slippery. That I, I, <laughs> now you're going. All right, man. well, I stopped right there. Push I catch in. myself. You kept, push I kiss your dog, Skip, so. I Yeah, well, they kiss. Did you find it? Never mind. We won't go there either. If I got germs, I got germs from your dog. Yeah, well, I probably have the same germs. They they give me kisses all the time, and I know where their tongues have I been. I take doggy kisses. I do try to make it a point of washing my face after I get slurped. Why? Push in. I'm trying. And the other side's not pushing out. So you're looks like you're just about there, man. It's a pretty big. Should thing. be. And, and I think if I recall, there was like four bolts, right? Four yep, bolts. Four screws. Four screws, and you're done. That's it? Yeah. I told you this is fast. Uh, fast I like the hatch in the bottom. And look at the, I mean, we haven't we haven't uh, uh, fired it up again to check to see if these are. Well, we will. Yeah, but maybe. maybe they did them at the factory and you'll get lucky. Like I have a couple of times where I just throw and go and all of a sudden, hey, I don't have to readjust. I like it. It's a nice plane. Nice but the fit. proper way is always test your servos and align them and stuff like that first. Use a servo tester if necessary. But I like to bind them with a receiver because the receiver is never exactly like the servo tester. Why do I like great bear, greater aid? Gator aid? <laughs> yeah. Greater aid? <laughs> greater aid. Because it's greater. <laughs> why, do I like, Lord, why do I like O'Doul's? I was trying so, to. So I. So I. So I don't say. So I. So I don't say greater aid. <laughs> I was trying to what? say greater aid. It's greater. It's a bad day to oh, stop sniffing glue. Man, good thing we're not flying. Do you know what trouble we'd get in today? Yeah. I'd be yeah nobody's dead. drinking. Nobody's hey, the doing day's anything. not over yet either. It's looking kind of calm. Oh out man, there. I would love to fly this today. Ooh, I have a surprise to put t together today too. It's in. Well. Came, came in that box. I got came, came new, in this box. I got came, a brand new prop on my pontoon boat. Oh, shit. Freeway. Huh? What? I got a brand new pontoon boat prop. The prop is brand new on my pontoon boat. See, now, Marty's taking a little bit of the foam tack glue and putting it on the edges of the of the threads so that they don't just back on out. And see, Loctite would have made that one really stick. But those foam tight, it's just enough to keep them from vibrating out ever. But, if, we're you, not, we're but gonna, if you want to turn it out, it'll still just turn right out like we're a We're not going to crash in midair with our airplanes again either. Yeah, no, we've, we're, we're kind of learning to stay a little bit further away from each other. Plus, we were watching him that one day at the same yeah, time when funny. we should have been watching our own planes. Wow. And then we had the same idea. Well, while we're watching him, let's just cut in and go the other way. But we both cut at the same time. That was a great That video. was just, it was inevitable. We were saying, you was, just said it what was years. funny, yeah, what was funny Skip is that we were, saying, we were, oh, lucky we didn't crash each other, and then pow. And I had just say, we were just oh, saying how inevitable it was if we keep doing that, that sooner or later right. someone's going to have a crash, and or bam, crash. not crash even, what, three minutes later? Hold on. The E-Flight 300 Extra 3D by Horizon Hobby. You guys know where to get it. What did this plane set you back? 
For the extra prop, the battery in the plane was four hundred dollars. Okay. Which for a battery prop and for a good battery for a, for a good uh, battery four uh, S. And uh, what did it come with this battery? No, this is uh oh. just a. I can fly with this battery too. Oh, you can't. That's a three S. Okay. Yeah, three S. But I wanted a four S because we want to try his uh. You want to go vertical. Timber X as well with a big battery. Timber. Oh, timber. Not going? More for that, actually. All right, Skip, here. I got it. Your turn. What do we got? Okay. You're Your gonna... Turn. My turn? What do we have? Another problem? Another uh, Marty can't find a hole. It's another Marty's uh, sniff too much glue. <laughs> I should have brought some raffle tickets on that golf cart. That thing was cool. It was all lifted and jacked. And... But I don't ever win anything. I told him if my... I said my brother, he wins everything, so... If you're still there when I leave, we'll... How long are they there for? I don't know. It was a big lifted golf cart, really nice. Fox River uh, Customs. Get quiet for just one second. Oh, I'm sorry. You get it? Sometimes you gotta turn them well. This one doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Did you tighten the front one or something? You gotta make sure all the holes align. Now let's just kill the film for now. Okay, so from what I'm seeing here, guys, these wings just fit really tight. And you know what, if we got some of these wires pinched in there, in between the wings, that's gonna give a reason uh, for them not to want to. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let me finish, uh... That's good. For that one. Now, let's see about this one here. Hold on tight. Wire, wires are all hooked up. You've got these guys about right. So, wrap them up, make them nice in here. So, when you push the door it gets in the way. Make it neat. <laughs> I just read where these other screws go. <coughs> Where's your back door at? Mm. Underneath it? Yeah, there it is. It's usually where they end up with it. <laughs> I'd love the magnets on that. And they got little screws. Yeah, magnets with authority. Earth magnets. They got little screws that hold the tail wheel assembly. I didn't know that, but I guess. That's yeah. why you gotta read the book. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I didn't read the book. I am reading the book while you're doing stuff. Well, good, you're supposed to be. Dude, you you nice guys part. are in charge of your build here. I'm just stepping in and giving a third hand when you need it. Dude, this is a much bigger plane than I thought it was going to be. Um, you guys getting a look at the size of this? Let's see some scale here. Yeah. This is not a small airplane. I like it though. I like the pattern on the bottom. How much was the plane's uh, the basic price without the battery and all the other extra, extra prop? Three seventy nine. Three seventy nine. For the bind and fly. For the bind and fly, yeah. And then they got a plug and play. It's a little cheaper, like twenty dollars cheaper, but oh, thirty right. usually thirty or forty dollars cheaper on those. Yeah. I'd rather have to ask. I, I you don't gotta care. buy a receiver anyway. Why not? Why not? Why I don't get, why not get one with all the buzzers and bells? I have S three X. Yeah, I still I, like I still use it when I like it. You know, I go out sometimes. I'm rusty. I'm not. You know, I fly until I don't feel rusty. Then I'll kick it off. If I want to do some acrobatics, I'll kick it off. And if you get in trouble, if I get in trouble, I kick button. it right back on. And you you bring the damn plane home every time. And when you just started flying yesterday, like me? <laughs> Marty, looks like you're doing just the finalizing touches. What's with the extra screws down here, though? Looks like they give you extras. I uh, make sure of that. That's what I, I did. I they said four the screws here, a couple screws in the back, and that was it. Okay. They gave you extra screws. Extra. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I'm here. Glue. Love that glue skip. All right, so stop doing that. They're gonna cut this. Gonna... Oh, look how big this thing is. Yeah, that's got some size to it, there, guys. Man, that's awesome looking. Turn it up. Turn it the other oh, way. Nope. Don't knock over my old duels. Oh shit! I didn't even see that there. My bad. 
shit, Marty's gonna fall down. Too much glue. Yeah, this plane got bigger than it. It, it grew, didn't it? <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it's a big plane. Get the crazy uh, tape out of the way. Yeah, I didn't know what was in there. There we go. Nice. Nice. All right, okay. so we got prop assembly and stuff to go, okay. and it's complete. I like it's got two hatches, too. Okay. All right, awesome. Hold tight, guys. We're going to get the prop on. Okay. Now, should we uh, check the directional of the prop to make sure it's right before you put that spinner on there? It's going to be. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. They always spin left. They always spin to the left. I haven't seen a motor yet that spins to the right, except when you're dealing with, uh, you know, four motors on it or, or yeah. two motors. You know, How about know, when my uh, nitro motors start up backward? <laughs> right. Yeah, well, that's you could do that with a motor, right backward. It doesn't know any different. Cycles the same on a two cycle. Won't work on a four cycle that way though. No. And if it does, you're gonna damage. Things. If it does, it'd be some kind All right, of battery Guinness contact. So now we got to set up throttle hold and all that crap, right? Yeah. I'm going to let you do that. Throttle's off. I'm not doing nothing until. Do we have to set it up before? Just I plug it in. in. Just plug it in. Plug it in. But stand away from the front of that prop. Yeah, you don't even have to put the. You don't have to put the uh, battery in there. Just plug it. Just lay the bat, set the battery in the top, and just plug it together and stand behind the prop. Did you tighten that prop? Yes. Yeah. Did you tighten the nose? Yes. Okay. The spinner. Yeah. All right. It did its stance. So if I go right. Are the directions right? Yeah. That's right. That's left. back. That's left. Yep, you got her. You got her. All right, easy, easy, because you'll suck up the tablecloth. <laughs> I've done that before, too. Try and hit your throttle stop. All right, stop. Okay, because now we're going to calibrate your throttle. I want me to hold the camera? I want AS3X and everything set. Okay. Turn off the radio. Okay. There we go. Wide open. It says warning throttle high. Wait a minute, sorry. Here, you take the radio. Take the radio. Wait a second, wait. Just hang on to it. I can do this backward. All right, now, all the way forward. Don't touch it. Try to hold to be on now? No, not now. That just calibrated your ESC. So, so as soon as you start to, it doesn't go, uh, See, it's going to start going right away, and you'll get your full throttle that way, too. Okay, so that's important. You want me to set up your... Yes. I want AS3X, I guess, on the same switch as we always had it on. And you got to probably put what's plain and all that crap in there. You could reverse that switch if you want it the other way. Well, I like it like that. Okay. That's how my other planes are. That's what I thought. That's why I did it. And then, uh, well, as I was still recording. Guys, I just set up his uh, AS3X or his uh, uh, throttle cut and stuff for him. It's I'm very important. do a lot of editing on this. <laughs> very important. But pretty much we're looking at the uh, full build here, guys. Just got to dial in the rates and the expos and stuff like that and go by the book. But for the, for the uh, all intents 
and purposes, this airplane is beautiful. Is finished. Are you still on? I am. Go ahead, hold on to the tail. Give everybody a little, just a little demo here. Let me get rid of the ashtray. Very important. Try to hold. Ash beetle. Okay, try to hold off. Okay. And all your surfaces, control surfaces are working. Try to hold on. Awesome. Easy build, guys. Nice plane, Mike. First time building, so don't give me... I'm hey, this is how we start, right? I'm just a bad pilot. Oh, you're fine. You do a great job. You're a better pilot than I am. Spectrum DX6 rules. Not as nice as Skip's radio, but next radio. I got tired of crashing planes with cheap radio. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second, Skip. Stop what? With what? Glue. what? Don't get away from my glue. I'm going to take that away from you. He's not really good. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had as much fun as we did. <laughs> See you later. Woo. Ciao for now. Peace, Peace out. All that, guys. Next time we'll do maiden flight. Yeah, maiden flight soon. Weather per Coming to a town near you. Weather permitting, right? <laughs>